Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead, and I just went out to my mailbox, and I am so excited, so excited. I talked to um, Carissa, she goes by Dawn, but actually Carissa is my name as well, but we spell it different. So that was so weird, and I go by Chris because people slaughter my name. Anyway, she asked for my help, and I told you guys I believe in small business, and I do. And if there's something I can do to help you, you know, let me know if I can put links in or whatever it is. But guys, I couldn't help but do a video on this. She said she was going to send me a few seeds. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. at 25 packets of seeds. <laughs> like... Thank you. You didn't need to do all that. I mean, that's just awesome. But she sent me a card and she just said that, you know, um, in a very short time, they were put on the top 20 list of places that you could buy heirloom seeds. I hope this is encouraging, encourages sales as they've been struggling to keep their business alive. And in this day and age, that's really hard. Thanks so much for your kindness. It means so much. Carissa at Bear Mountain Seeds. So, I'm going to put her card up here so you guys can take a screenshot of that. And then I'm going to put her link below and her seeds are reasonable, two bucks. And I'm telling you guys, they're all 100% non-GMO. They are all heirloom seeds. And I told her, I go, if I really like them, I'm going to show them all throughout the year. Because, you know, I've tried other seeds and some come up, some do not, you know, and you hate to put your full force behind something, but, you know, I truly believe in, in her and I've spoke to her and I, I really hope that you guys, you know, I don't ask very often if you guys purchase anything. I mean, it's nice if you do, but if you're in need of seeds, you know, go over and check her, her website out and I mean... These seeds are amazing. It looks great. So let me tell you some of the seeds she sent me. She sent me some Roma tomatoes. Cherokee purple. My neighbor grows them across the street. She loves, love, love, loves those. I wanted to try them. And actually some that were on my list that I wanted to order are in here. So you guys kind of messed up your sale there. But anyway, I'm sure there's others that I want. And some crimson okra. I don't look like okra, but my kids do. Um, all sweet watermelon. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We did a couple of watermelons last year. Sweet red pepper. This I'm so excited about because I've never grown them for myself. Look at sweet onions. And then the romaine lettuce, but red. I didn't know romaine lettuce could come in red. I'm pretty excited. Butterhead Butter Crunch Lettuce. Oh, baby. And then these actually look like they might be really good. They're Marglobe Tomatoes. And you know, guys, we grow tons of tomatoes. And then I'm super excited about this because my dill. Like I seen 1870s Homestead, she complains about the same thing. Like they don't get those big blooms, but this is Mammoth Long Island Dill. So you know what? I am so anxious to try that because it would be nice to have that big, you know, like those big things you've seen out when your grandparents and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm hoping. Um, thyme, crooked neck squash, which I think is like a yellow squash. You guys, this is like Christmas. I love it. Sweet Bell California Peppers. Oh, what else do we got? Oriental Long Beans. I've never tried those, but I'm going to talk to Renee. I'm going to take my seeds up this weekend so that she can maybe help me decide what where I have to plant them. And I was going to order these because I've always wanted to try them. And Renee says they're really good, too. The purple beans. Last year we did assorted um, carrots and radishes and they turned out so beautiful. So that's why I was hoping if the beans might too. And then Blue Lake Pole Beans. 
and basil and oregano. You know what happened last year? We forgot, we labeled everything and it washed off. So I'm going to order pre-made ones so that that doesn't wash off. Cantaloupe. You know, from where I am, it's my smelling. <laughs> Denver Half Long Carrots. Aren't those cool? I love carrots, so does Tom. And then we got cucumbers. I want to get some of her... She has the little ones, the pickling ones. I want to get some of those and grow them this year, too. And then burpless cucumbers. You know what Tom wants us to do with those cucumbers? Make that stuff with the vinegar every day. And then some peas. I've tried peas and I wasn't very successful. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. And then yellow peppers. And mammoth Russian sunflowers. Don't those look beautiful? I know I took up quite a bit of your time, but I am so excited that a viewer, you know, a friend, a person that watches my channel, asked me for help. And, you know, I have owned small businesses and technically the credit card business, I have a company I work for, but I have to do my own and it's done on commission and everything else. And I know what it's like. My mom and dad always had small businesses too. And it's sometimes really hard. And since everything that's went on, it's really hard on a lot of businesses. So give her her site a, a look, you know, and if you're in the market for seeds, then give her a chance. You know, I mean, she's out of Oklahoma and let's see if we can, you know, help her out a little bit. I never do that. I know, don't ask people to buy, but you know, if, if you see something that you like and it is very reasonable, I think they're two bucks a pack. So it's pretty cheap. Um, and I am going to grow them these this year. Not all of them, but some of them. And I will show you throughout the season how they turn out. So I'm really excited for her. And thank you, Chris. I just That is a lot of seeds. I really didn't expect all that. And you didn't need to do all that. I would have helped you for a lot less. So give her a look. I'll put her link below. And man, now I'm like, what a spring coming. All right, you guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing.